As a kid, I was always told, Ben, don't put metal in the microwave. Ben, don't put plastic in the microwave. Ben, you're adopted. Well, as an adult, I can now put whatever I want to in the microwave, but I'm also a parent, so it's pretty important that I record and show everyone what it's like when you put something not so good in the microwave. Uh, so we're gonna try a few different things today in the video. We're going to load the microwave up with things individually. I got a few microwaves. We're going to go ahead and test a few things out, see what happens when we try some of the things we're not supposed to, or maybe some things that uh, we thought would be okay, but under circum certain circumstances, maybe they're not. So let's go ahead and try about eight to 10 different things today. Oh, 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 oh. So, <laughs> this is way worse than I ever imagined possible, and I'm only like a minute and a half into the video. This is great. I'm going to spend more time cleaning this up than I am doing tests, but I guess that's the nature of videos, right? So let's go ahead and get this nasty mess cleaned up. It smells worse than it looks, and it looks like a disaster. It smells like... Well, it smells like me after Taco Bell is what it is. And my parent, my kids would tell you that. So we're gonna go get this wiped out. As far as I can tell, it's still running and heating. So once we get it cleaned up, we'll go to the next test, no matter how bad this smells and lingers. I can't breathe too well in the room already. Just coming in and noticing the odor. And of course, taking this out, it's getting more and more difficult to breathe. Um, the fumes are causing my eyes to water just a little bit. They're definitely hot and they're cooked, but um, obviously the reason you don't want to do this one is because the capsaicinoids in it could more or less turn your microwave into a uh, pepper spray. So if these had gone further and popped more, you can see that that one's kind of exposed a little bit. Um, it's popped open, the habaneros didn't pop, but if you put less in for more minutes and had these uh, pop or explode a little bit more, they could turn pretty uh, discomfort or deadly to you depending on the situation. These were okay because I overloaded with so many different peppers, but um, I'm still, I can talk, but barely every time I breathe in, it's getting a little bit worse. Next, we are doing the Arby's sandwich. I want to do this because it's foil wrapped and I want to see if this causes any ill effects in the unit. And then we also have the uh, paper bag too. 
And I'm wondering if using the paper bag and then without using the paper bag changes the qualities. Now, for anybody that ha doesn't know what Arby's is, because they're not in the United States, it's not popular overseas, this is a roast beef sandwich, I think, with cheese on it. If you've ever watched The Simpsons, The Simpsons popularized this in one episode where Sherry and Terry were on a deserted island and they said their slogan, I'm so hungry I could eat at Arby's. Let's go ahead and put this in there. We're going to set it for 30 seconds and then see what happens. Okay, it only I stopped this early at T minus 11 seconds because it was clearly burning the bag up. It was catching on fire, uh, <laughs> clearly. So we're gonna take the sandwich, put it in the bag, see if this changes the properties or if we're going to catch it on fire again. So paper bag with a foil wrapped sandwich on the inside. Will this change it at all? Also, I guess if someone was in science, they'd say there's nothing stupid about science. So I'm going to take the plate and the ring and go ahead and clean it up and see if we can do one more test before I have to leave for the end of the day. And the microwave's clean now after the Arby's fire. This microwave is actually cleaner than it was. Still cleaning out some of the egg from the very first test, but it is good to go, I think, for another test. And for this test, we are going to use a cold can of pop. I'm actually inter super interested in this test because according to the internet, this may actually not heat up or have any ill effects. We're going to run it for 30 seconds and just see what happens. I was told that since it is a smooth surface and there's no real edges on this other than maybe the tab. So we'll test with a thermal gun after 30 seconds as long as it doesn't blow the microwave up to begin with. Should be around 40 degrees. Now it's actually warm. It has actually effectively heated itself up a little bit, I believe. Eh, it's still actually kind of cold. At least it feels cold to me. So I don't know. Maybe we'll try this outside on a second test uh, for two minutes and see what happens. Alternatively, I now question if the microwave is warming or not. So we better put something in it to test and see if it's just merely warming or not. So we're going to try just a handful of grapes and see if it's still warming or not. I think it's warming because it felt a little bit hot inside, but who knows? We're going to run this test for 30 seconds. And it is clear that the microwave works. There are some sparks and they have certainly, the juice has popped out. They could have caught on fire if I had ran them a whole lot longer, but it still works so we can go on to more tests.
I thought paper would be a good idea. It may not fit in here because of a ream of paper, but I thought it's still a pretty good idea even if it's a crappy one. So we're going to try a normal roll of American toilet tissue to see what happens when we put it in here for a minute, but I will stop running it if it catches on fire. And it's fully dry, we haven't wetted it down or anything. So I don't know if that will make any difference or not. It did not catch on fire at all. Let's see if it's any temperature. It is warm, so theoretically, I guess, if you ran it long enough, it could, in fact, catch on fire. Touch it and see what happens. Oh, that's warm. Yeah, that's warm. And there's a little bit of, I guess that's a steam from the middle. Yeah, this would have caught on fire if we had ran it long enough, for sure. At least that's my opinion. I was going to do a larger bottle of soap, but that won't fit very well. So we got this, there's a metal spring in the pump. Um, clearly it works, but we are going to see what happens. few bits of soap that have gone places, but, and it's warped, but let's see, 115 degrees and it's starting to leak. I don't think anything else is going to happen to it other than the bottle just generally melting. And it's still actually somewhat usable. So we may be able to take this and use this in the bathroom to wash our hands. So obviously plastic, we're going to put a CD in and see what happens. Track listing in there, it's not actually a Metallica CD. I just put print at the front for another video and we're gonna put it in and see what happens. Can't sound any worse than the album anyways. Sadly, while running this test, I was not able to get a good camera angle until the very end. So we have to skip forward on this process. Let's see what happened here. Case has opened itself. It smells awful. Just like the album. Oh. So the case itself has gotten warm, but the inside CD is melted really, really bad. And I can't even pull it out. It is stuck on. And it's very, very hot to the touch. And this was one minute. So the CD is totally destroyed. I can't open it up and do anything. So like I said, it's not really a Metallica. It's Lester Road Dog Morgan of the Cadillac Cowboys. Sorry for what happened to you guys. This is a little bit different of a test. We're taking this frozen glass dish and trying to heat it up in the microwave. Generally glass is safe, but is it safe when you have it frozen? Um, according to my sources, it's not supposed to be and it should shatter, so we're going to try this out. Barely fits. But it did not crack or break. Mind you, this is a anchor hawking dish I bought from Walmart. I think it was like $4. Anchor hawking tends to be quite well made. It's made actually locally uh, in Lancaster, Ohio. I have a link for the dish because I expected this to shatter and possibly take the microwave out. But here we are with multiple, multiple tests in already and it's still working fine. The whole microwave smells like utter garbage, but it is still chugging along and I'm 
I'm actually shocked this still works. And this is our second to final test of the day. This is the test that actually has me the most worried, even though it's just going to be putting water in a mug. We're going to heat this up. The idea here is that if you are heating water up for say coffee or some other purpose, if you disturb the water uh, when you pick it up, but not when it's heating up, it's possible that all that energy, that heat will rise and suddenly blast out of the mug causing a huge issue. So what we're going to do is heat this up on the timer for four minutes. We're going to heat this up for four minutes, which should make it way hotter than it should reasonably be. The cup's not full. We're going to see if it pops or explodes inside the microwave. But if it doesn't, once we get done, we're going to take this wooden spoon and slap the cup to make the water shift around and see if anything happens. I am, again, the most nervous about this test, so I'm going to be wearing gloves and goggles when this goes on, and this is the second final test, so I saved it almost for last because I expect very bad things. I'm not sure if we didn't heat it up enough or it was able to break surface tension when we ran it or not, but the water is obviously very hot, but it did not explode on us, which is a good thing, but this is also why it's always such a scary proposition to heat your water up in the microwave because it's not always guaranteed to work and explode. Maybe we'll try this test again in the future, but so far, so good on this. It would have made a cup of noodles, but there are some safety regulations you can go by to heat water up without it guaranteeing or possibly exploding, which would be to put something in it to break the surface tension, such as that wooden spoon when you microwave, or at least some object. And for the final test, we're doing one last thing, which is nothing at all. We're going to set this for three minutes and just let it run and see what the temperatures are on the inside. Microwaving nothing is a big problem too, because obviously there's a little bit of air inside here as well as moisture. And if that air gets too hot, it could trip the thermal sensors that are in this for safety to try to make sure it doesn't overheat and cause, you know, super big damage. So it may trip a sensor if we just run it for two or three minutes without anything in it and we'll see what happens. We'll use uh, our thermal gun to see what the inside looks like afterwards. It is 83 degrees right now, so we'll see what the back of the microwave is once it runs for three minutes without anything inside of it. And the inside is definitely quite warm. I could even feel it from the top. It's hard to say if the thermal fuse has popped, so we're going to take some grapes that are well, they're a little bit warm, I guess, but we are going to go ahead and put the grapes in and see if it will still warm if we trip the thermal fuse or not. And it was for two minutes, so obviously the longer you go, the worse it's going to get. They smoked. Oh, look at that. They are shot and they were smoking. And that's it for the tests today on this video. Um, I had a lot of fun and almost as much danger trying to do these tests because the water one just kind of scared me more than the uh, Arby's bag catching on fire. If you guys like this, like the video. If I can get somewhere around like 10,000 likes, I will do this again with your suggestions because I try to think about what would be interesting to me and these are the tests I could come up with. But if you can come up with better ideas, let me know. I had a lot of fun doing this, but it's not something I want to do too much of if you guys don't like it yourself. So let me know. We didn't end up going through using the second 
microwave. This one still seems to work, so I have a spare microwave we can do more tests with, but I just need to know if it's something that you guys would like. Well, that's it for the video today, guys. I hope you had a good day. Make sure to subscribe if we want to do this again, but comment what you want me to test as well. Um, even if it doesn't get to the likes, maybe we'll try something. So have a great day. Bye.